Okay, so I'm with my patient. I am going to have her perform the pendulum exercise. So what I'm going to have her do is go ahead and put her right hand on the chair and I'm going to have her lean over and rest her arm. And then I'm going to actually have her use that other arm before she begins her exercise to begin the circle of the movement of a circle. I have tape on the ground measured into 21, 20 centimeters. And I'm using those as visual cues for her to be able to watch where her arm should be uh, swinging. Um, right now, she's at 20 centimeters. I want to progress her to 51 centimeters. I also will be having her do this for five sets of 30 seconds, but we will increase it um, by 15 second increments as she progresses. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at an eccentric exercise for shoulder flexion. Um, this looks a lot like the Codman's uh, drop arm test. So what we'll be doing is we're going to have our patient, we're going to have her raise her arm into shoulder flexion. And then as the clinician, I'm going to be pushing down, um, forcing her arm down into, um, forcing her arm down. Um, we're going to be doing this for uh, three sets of 15 okay, so seconds. Today we're going to be performing isometric exercises with our patient here. Um, I'm going to have her be performing abduction, adduction, uh, internal rotation, and shoulder flexion. So for our first one, we're going to do adduction. So I have her foam roller here to keep her in the scapular plane. So I'm going to have her try and force her elbow in for adduction. And then we'll do that for five to 10 seconds for one rep. We're going to try and do three sets of eight reps um, and progress to three sets of 10 reps and then three sets of 15 as she goes along in her progressions. So after it's been 10 seconds, we're going to go ahead, we're going to switch it to, um, she's going to keep the foam roller there for the to stay in the scapular plane. And then I'm going to have her for a deduction. I'm going to have her lean against the wall here. And then she's going to force her elbow into the, well, her shoulder into the, the wall for five to 10 seconds as well. And then after that, we're going to do shoulder flexion. So then again, foam roller stays there. And I'm going to have her just go ahead and punch into the wall for five to 10 seconds. And the last one that I am forgetting was um, internal rotation. So I'm going to have her go ahead and she's going to try and bring her arm into internal rotation, keeping her arm in that scapular plane. The reason we are not doing external rotation right now um, is because I'm focused on the early phase of phase two. Um, we will slowly progress her into external rotation due to um, her having a slap tear. Okay, so I will now be performing my pre-test measurements before I perform Gavilon. I am going to be testing shoulder flexion. So I'm going to be using a goniometry to measure this. I'm going to um, put the axis in line with the acromion process. I'm going to have my stabilization arm in line with the trunk of her body and then her bring her arm into uh, flexion as far as she can go and then i'm going to bring this with her and she is at 145 degrees Previously, we're at 145 degrees. <laughs> now we're at 164 degrees. So we got our MCID with this.